Hey, so what's going on guys? Me here with Drive Reviews and welcome back to another video. So after much consideration, I finally decided which company, which brand of tune I want to go with for the Volkswagen Sirocco 1.4. And uh, today we'll be heading over to Revo to actually get this bad boy tuned. Yes, it will be a stage 1 tune because of the hardware which I'm currently running. So for the list of mods right now for stage 1, it's more of a stage 1 plus uh, setup. But however, they'll be using a stage 1 tune because it's very optimized and very stable according to them. Because I did give them the list of uh, the mods which I'm currently running. So the mods I have right now is the MST intake kit. I'm running uh, R8 coils and I'm also having a muffler delete and a GFB diverter valve so currently uh, it has been running on the stock tune just because uh, the warranty just ended a couple of months back and I was uh, actually considering a couple of brands for a stage 1 tune uh, which I will not mention in this video but I've been considering a few and reading the getting some background information on the tune and whether it's stable or not if you've been following the channel long enough you know that I actually did a stage 2 plus daily driver with my Civic FC and because I chose a very reliable brand of tune, it has got me through the years of using a Stage 2 Plus as a daily driver and with no issues at all. So right now the car is sold and uh, the Sirocco is actually my daily driver now. And I really do enjoy the Sirocco and I do not want to go crazy with it. Of course, I do want to make power. That's definitely uh, the case here. That's the reason I'm going for a Stage 1 tune, uh, for base tune at least. Uh, but I do want something that's reliable and will not like screw up the engine or something like that. So yeah, uh, Revo it is. So today we'll be heading over to Quattro Zone at Ara Damansara and we'll be giving this car a sort of a boost in power. Uh, I'm not expecting anything too crazy, uh, but definitely the results will be better than race ship. If you know, I think race ship is a pretty sketchy product and I haven't been using it. I've only used it for like uh, two months. Uh, in fact, if you or me, I will not make the same mistake again but I'll straight away go for a remap like from Revo, APR, Project A of course those are slightly more expensive than Revo but Revo is, uh, from what I heard is a very reliable uh, daily driver tune it's very stable that's what I'm looking for of course the gains, we are talking about uh, slightly lower gains than the competitors maybe about like 10 to 15 horsepower less than the competitors but more important for me is that I want something like the setup for my Civic. So the Civic I went with Honda Ta instead of K-Tuner on. I know K-Tuner makes a lot more power. Of course, this car will definitely reach uh, Stage 2 Plus at one point. But uh, for now, uh, at the current setup, I do not want to go crazy with this car until I find a replacement daily driver. So this car can be my project car. But at the moment, uh, I'm really enjoying this ride. And I, yeah, I want to keep it running for the longest time I have before I have to rebuild my pistons and conrods and stuff like that which i will go for forge uh, pistons and conrods but that'll be a, probably a project for next year but for now uh, let's head over to revo ara damansara and i'll catch you guys there so. Alright guys, so we are Quattro Zone and uh, we are checking the engine health before they flash the tune. Let me bring you guys in. Ah, welcome to Droid Tech, bro. Okay. So we're going to plug into the ECU to check engine health and then they will flash the tune and they will go for a test round after that. Alright guys, so the engine health check has been done. So now they are flashing stage 1 into the ECU so fingers crossed everything goes well as you can see guys it's flashing into the ECU running the Revo file okay guys so we are testing stage 1 Revo with Desmond hi okay, so they will be bringing me around and see what's the difference uh.
done so go back see the data on me so okay. I check everything the engine everything condition and the push push I see like this are up to 1.5 bar 1.5 lah uh, before it's 1.2 stock car ok ok uh, so now up to 1.5 but feeling no too much uh, good uh. Got a little bit is uh, different for your response. Oh, response, yeah, I can see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I think got slight increase uh, in throughout the RPM range. Uh. Mm. Like normally, like once it's mid, uh, like around maybe 100, then it's slower. Now 100 onwards is a bit faster. Uh. Mm. Because uh, we want to see the push backside have a push or not. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Backside have a push more than the push, and then you can be feeling more than. Top that side. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But this one will optimize the supercharger also, right? Uh, will you optimize the supercharger? Like the, the supercharger will use more or something? Uh no. No, like, it's the uh, same. Uh, they won't leave it to the ECU only. Uh, uh, just using the ECU only. Okay. Because okay. this one main is all it push the uh, turbo. Oh turbo side, yeah. Uh. Uh, okay, okay. The super just give you the like backup only. Uh, uh, okay, so okay. this one turbo original is called a little bit bigger lah. So you want the compare balance. Hmm. So the using the super just for front, then back and then he using the turbo. Oh okay. Uh, so right guys we are officially done with tuning the Sirocco and I'm honestly really really impressed and really really happy that I chose Revo stage one because honestly the difference is night and day the response uh, when i accelerate is so much better compared to like before when it was on the stock tune however i haven't tested my zero to 100 times yet which i will do in probably a later video a short video you can probably follow my tiktok at Droid tech reviews where i'll actually post uh, zero to 100 times there uh, for stock this car was doing approximately seven seconds approximately that and uh, yeah, I'm hoping to see some improvements as you to 100 times. But with my butt dyno, I can actually feel like a big difference in torque, uh, at least around 30 to 40 newton meters easily, easily that. And uh, of course, the horsepower, there's definitely some gains. The boost, however, stock boost, this car was boosting around 1.2 bar, uh, roughly around that. But now it's, uh, it spikes at uh, 1.7 bar, but uh, the safe one, which normally, you know, Malaysia is kind of a, a hot weather, hot climate country. So it's roughly around the ballpark of uh, 1.5 bar, which is more than enough. Uh, in fact, because this is a stock turbocharger. Of course, I do have like uh, upgraded uh, performance turbocharger ready and also, of course, uh, forged pistons and corn rods which I will be doing it as a stage 2 or stage 3 project probably next year and then get it retuned by the end of next year if everything goes well everything goes as planned but for now stage 1 is like perfectly fine in fact uh, this is how the car should have been uh, when it came from the factory but of course it is tuned for reliability as usual with all manufacturers so guys let me head over to my regular location and i'll give you some zero to hundred pools so that concludes the video and i hope you guys like it if you did like it do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and i'll catch you guys in the next video okay so for the first round we're putting it into manual mode so i'm going to be shifting this into manual okay let's do the pool real quick Okay guys, so for the second pool, we will be doing it in sport mode. So engaging sport mode and here we go.